walk through today uh, the creation of a brand new uh, app maker, Google App Maker app, from uh, start to finish, kind of a high level. Not going to go into a lot of details, but just as a sort of a demonstration of uh, uh, what Google App Maker is from a from a high level. So uh, I've hit create uh, new. I'm at my home screen here. And I'm going to hit Create New App down below here. And uh, App Maker comes with a variety of, of templates or starter solutions. Uh, that, and any one of these might be pretty darn close to what you're looking to uh, uh, accomplish uh, with your uh, uh, organizational challenge. Uh, however, uh, today I'm going to go ahead and grab a blank application. So I select that. And that indeed creates a blank application, creates a, a new page for me. Um, but I'm going to first uh, add some uh, data structure to this. I already have a, uh, a Google Sheet that I've been tracking the football uh, roster with. So I'm going to head and hit plus here. Uh, and I'm going to uh, select, so you've got a myriad of different options here, but I'm just going to leave it as default Google Cloud SQL. I'm going to give it a name, call it Hill. Top football, and I'm going to import fields instead of hand typing all the fields. I've I've got them in a Google spreadsheet, so um, as column headers. So I'm going to ahead and use that. So uh, uh, I could you know use a CSV file or or, or a local spreadsheet, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my Google uh, Sheets and uh, hit this. I'm going to select a sheet here. I got season roster. I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click on that fella. I'm going to select, make sure I got, I've only got one sheet in this uh, sheet, so I'm just going to let that go. And then it says use the first row as uh, field name, so that's what I want to do. Because that's how I have it set up. I hit next. Uh, now it uh, you know, has me, uh, uh, I can put a, a model name uh, for this database, but I'm just going to leave it to its defaults. Um, it shows me a preview of the fields that are going to be uh, created here, and that those all look good to me. Uh, i got first name, last name, nickname, uh, such. And uh, Google App Maker does a pretty good job of looking at the data and determining what kind of field uh, you are, are uh, uh, needing in a database based on the information that's in the spreadsheet. So and it's guessed pretty good here, so that's great. So I'll hit Create. And there I am. I, uh, uh, those are my fields. I didn't have to type those in. Didn't have to know any sort of geeky, databasey terminology. It just looked at my data in my spreadsheet and figured out what to make. So I'm going to go ahead and import data, and I'm going to import it from the the very same place. So last time I didn't import the data. I just created the fields. So now I'll import the data from that very same sheet. Hit import here. Now it's looking at the, the data and determining how it's going to import. Plus it's making some changes on the back end. All for you in uh, uh, the uh, Cloud SQL instance. And now it's going to ask me to authorize. So I'll go ahead and uh, let uh, Google access to uh, my my Google stuff. I asked some questions. It says, you know, are you sure you want this untitled app to, to uh, you know, view your spreadsheets on your drive, uh, as well as uh, uh, make a database on the uh, SQL server. Now it's uh, importing the actual data, and it is done. So I can just go back here. And uh, now I'll actually have some data uh, placed into this. So now let's go to the, the uh, pages here. Uh, that is my uh, interface, sort of the form that I'm going to be entering and, and, and uh, editing the data in. I'm going to rename this because this is a default name that I get. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rename it main page. Hit OK there. All right, so now the real secret sauce, the, 
the uh, uh, thing that makes uh, Google App Maker uh, uh, so so productive and and uh, uh, unique is its abilities to uh, create these forms very fast by just dragging and dropping elements. So uh, if you go in the upper right here, you'll you'll get this widget uh, uh, palette that pops up. So I'll go ahead and click that. And the first thing I'm going to throw on there, uh, you can see a myriad of different things you can throw on there, things that you might need like text boxes and drop-down menus and uh, all, all, all manner of things here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, drag a form out here. And right away it says, hey, which uh, uh, data do you want to look at? And I go ahead and I say that Hilltop Football, the one I just imported, uh, what kind of form do you want? you just want to insert uh, uh, new records? You kind of want it to be able to edit, delete, and, and uh, all the rest of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit Edit. It gives you the most tools, and you can certainly remove them if you want. So I hit New, or rather Next. And here we're greeted with all the fields that we <coughs> can have on there. And I pretty much want all the fields. I don't think I need ID. That's sort of a geeky thing in the background the database needs. I, my users and me don't need to see that, so I'll leave that uh, open. I also don't need to see the injury waiver, and I don't necessarily need to see their age, so I'll go ahead and click that. So now I have all these uh, clicked, and I want them to be editable. Uh, you could turn the editable off of any of these so that folks couldn't uh, change what data is already in there, but I'm going to leave it open so that uh, we can modify this if we need to. So finish, and Google goes ahead and uh, creates this nice little form. Uh, and if I preview it real quick, and this is something you can do anytime, and uh, if you've already imported data, you'll see the uh, uh, data show up in the preview. So uh, I've got nine records, and I can kind of scroll through them by clicking here, and that's that's great, nothing wrong with that. Uh, basically, from this point on, I could create new records uh, uh, for new folks, that uh, new new kids that uh, join the team. I can do uh, all sorts of uh, different things here. Um, but what uh, I uh, uh, want to do is, is have a little bit easier, uh, make a little adjustments in the interface to make it easier to go from one uh, team member to the next. So let's switch back to our uh, authoring tab here where we have the sort of development screen. And I want to throw up a, another type of widget, and this is called the table. It's a little bit different. It's kind of like a, a list of more than one record, whereas the form is viewing a one record at a time. So I go ahead and I want to grab the same data source. And again, this one actually, I don't want to see uh, pretty much any of the fields except for the nicknames because I, I know the, the kids' nicknames. So uh, that's really what I want to see. So if I click this little box here in the very top uh, along where the headers are, it'll turn everything off. And then I can just cl click the nickname. I can hit Next. And now when I hit Next, just like the form gave me some options, uh, the, the table gives you some options. So this allows you to do uh, pagination, which is a little uh, forward, backward here. Um, and right now, I don't think I really need that. Um, I would like uh, to sort it by nickname, maybe. And I also like to maybe delete records from that screen. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish here. And I'm going to align this so it kind of matches up with the uh, form here. Uh, and let's go ahead and preview that again. So I hit Preview. And again, it takes me to the Preview tab that I had already set up, but it refreshes the uh, the screen. And he, here I have a preview. So I go ahead and click on it. And you can see, once I click on any of these uh, uh, folks over here, I see their details on this screen here, which is, which is pretty nice. So let's make some further changes here. All right. Now, Google gives you, uh, when you create these forms, gives you all sorts of uh, uh, other tools, you know, buttons that, are, that they think you might need. Um, but here, uh, I, I'd like to uh, uh, remove the uh, ability to delete records from the list view. I want, to, you know, I want you to have to go into the detail view 
and uh, see the details before you make that com uh, commitment to delete a, a player from the roster. Uh, the pagation uh, also uh, tool, I, I don't really need on this because I have now I have this list view to navigate, so I'm going to select that and just hit the delete key. I also, uh, uh, there's these little uh, uh, spinny, swirly things um, that uh, uh, kind of show the progress of loading it. My database isn't that big, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and remove those. Um, I'm also going to move this creation uh, button uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna remove that too because I don't want to really create records from this detail view I, I want to actually create them from this uh, view over here so uh, if I've deleted that I need to replace it with something so if I go over to my little widgets here I've got a I, I've got uh, not only do I have form view to uh, labels text all the rest of it I also have buttons so um, I'm going to go ahead and drag a button over to this side. And this button, okay, if you notice on this part of the screen, I really talked about this, but this is kind of, if you select an item, it has all sorts of properties uh, of that item. And one of them is, if it's a button, it's the kind of action you want to uh, select. So I go ahead and I say, uh, create new item. That's what I want that thing to do. And uh, so now... And if I line these up here, okay, I've got a, I've got a button called, uh, uh, and I can call it add, right? So now it's pretty clear what that is. So let's go ahead and preview that. So now you can see that I have uh, the ability, if I click on this, to add a record. So let's add a record. Tom Smith, spell here. His next name is Smithy. And he is a uh, 12th grader. And his position is uh, center. He hasn't uh, uh, gone through the concussion training, but he's an honor athlete, so I'll go ahead and select him there. Now, you notice that now he's part of this list over here, All right, so, um, which, is, which is pretty nice. Now, I don't really, it looks like I already, I got it, uh, I'm looking through here, and um, I'm clicking, uh, and I'm thinking, wow, it'd be nice to see the position. Uh, in this uh, uh, area here, because I, you know, I don't need more than one player uh, per position here, and I already got a center. So um, let's let's go make that change. So I'll kind of show you how to add a field. So I added a button to the layout, but I'm also going to add uh, uh, a, um, a a label or uh, a text field. And you notice a little at symbol here. Uh, that's that's a a, a field. So Let's go ahead and um, put a label here. And actually, we don't want a label. <laughs> we want a uh, box. And we want to make that box, let's attach it to something here. And we want to attach it to uh, the position, and there we go. So now, now we have uh, a position here, uh, and if we preview it, we'll see all the positions on the left here. But I, but you notice that because I grabbed the text text box, and it's a very similar. Uh, uh, to, to this fellow, almost it's, all, it's editable, right? So actually, I don't want to do that. So let's remove that, and I'm actually going to copy this. This is formatted the way I want, and paste it. And you can see it's now. I'm going to see nickname twice if I leave this, but I'm going to go over to uh, here, and I'm going to select a different uh, uh, binding. And instead of nickname, I'm going to grab my position. So you see that there? Okay, so you see my position. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, preview this. And
and you see right here I see the uh, uh, position right next to the to the nickname and I notice oh I got another center so I'm going to go ahead and select Smithy here I'm going to delete it using that button that uh, Google gave me I didn't have to place that button it just came along with the form wizard so you notice it, it deleted right away Okay, so this gives you um, a, a real high-level uh, uh, view of what you can do with AppMaker, um, how easy it is, and, and uh, how intuitive uh, the interface is. Now, you do notice right here it's fairly plain, and I'll go uh, in a, into another video to show you uh, how you can uh, um, change the look and feel, uh, give it some color, make your own branding. Um, so uh, I'll give you a, a quick preview of, of what that might look like. So I've got another uh, uh, another application already in the oven, and I'll take it out for you to show. So this is that very same uh, uh, interface, all right, with a few with slight few modifications. But the major thing here is that I've applied uh, styles and themes. Uh, to the uh, look and feel of, of it, and you can see that it really does look uh, like it's branded for uh, my organization. So that will be followed up in, an, in another video, um, but I hope that you learned something about, uh, on a high level, of what Google App Maker uh, can do for you and uh, your organization.